Hey everybody, John Peterson here, and today I am up in the Palouse area of Eastern Washington. It's right on the border of Idaho and Washington, and this area is the largest grain producing area in the United States. I think it's second largest in the world. It's an amazing location to photograph, and it's a, it can be a challenging place to photograph too because there's not a lot of uh, obvious subjects, you know, waterfall, mountain, that kind of stuff. Up here in the Palouse, we're playing with light, shadows, shape of the landscape. It's just phenomenal. I, I love it as an artist. It's extremely challenging as an artist, and it's one of my favorite places to come visit. Most of you have probably seen photographs from Steptoe Butte, uh, looking out over across the wheat fields, the landscapes, and and the uh, the rolling hills that we have uh, going off into the distance. It's absolutely beautiful up here. And you know, le let me give you a tip. Most people come up right in time for the sunset. The best time to be up on Steptoe Butte is about an hour and a half before sunset. Because what we do when we come up here this early is we play with the shadows and the light across the landscape. Shadows and light across the landscape. It's all about picking out details, patterns, shapes, and how the light falls across the landscape to put together some beautiful images. Right now, I mean, it's about two hours before sunset and I'm the only one here right now. More should show up shortly. But let's take a look at a few images right now, okay? And if you do come up to Steptoe Butte, my biggest recommendation for you is to bring the longest glass that you have. Because we're looking at distances that are miles and miles away, you need as much reach as you can get. So right now I'm shooting with my Fujifilm X-T5. I've got a 1.4 teleconverter on it and then my 100 to 400 millimeter lens. This gives me, on a crop body, this gives me an effective focal range of about 840 millimeters, which allows me to get out into the landscape and isolate elements in this landscape. 